Okay, so now we're gonna look a little bit more of the deeper muscles in the foot itself. This time we're gonna look at the flexor digitorum brevis. Now, digitorum brevis comes down here, obviously interdigitates with the second, third, and the fourth, down through this area here. We've covered the muscles on the lateral and the medial. This time we're coming down the center. Now, a lot of you with plantar fascia, please don't get this confused. There is another muscle under here that we'll cover, which is quadratus plantae, which is deep in this area here. We're not gonna be in that area. We're gonna be down through this area. And there's two trigger points here. Now, where these trigger points refer is to basically the second, third, fourth met heads, okay? So you're gonna have pain up in this area here. Yes, it will be tender locally through this area, but that's not the area we're going for in terms of site of symptoms, okay? So we're talking about met heads, second, third, and fourth, okay? Now, yes, this is a sensitive area. Yes, you have to get your pressure right. So really, once again, if you go too deep on this muscle, your clients will go into a cramp, okay? So you have to negotiate that. One of the good ways of doing that, there's a couple of ways I could go about showing you how to work this muscle. Yes, we can come in with broad thumbs, like so, and we can also place the leg up on this area here and come through with a lot more broader approach here, just not with your elbow, but that fleshy part, okay? So we can come down and just get a lot more broader approach. Once again, if you go too deep, your clients are going to flinch, they're going to cramp, guard, and basically, they're gonna push you out, okay? So it's all about getting that pressure right. A Little bit of cream, okay? What you have to do also when you're working this muscle is you have to make sure that your client can sort of flex a little bit into it. If you open it up like that, then you're gonna get a lot more feedback in that muscle itself, okay? So you want your clients to be able to flex a little bit through just that mid portion, if you like, all right? So that's really important. So you don't want the foot down in a stretch position. You don't want the muscles in a stretch position, trust me, because the feedback will be just too much. They won't be able to handle it. Okay, so I'll show you the broad approach first, then we'll go in with the, the thumbs, okay? So trigger points, obviously in this mid portion here, okay? We're not necessarily going to engage the trigger points by doing this, tri uh, this, this stroke. This is more of a, just a broad approach. Get your clients used to having some pressure in this area here. So we're gonna come down just below that calcaneer. We're not going into the plantar quadratus plantae, which is deep in this area here. We're just coming just above that. And then once again, we're just gonna go down with a broad approach just to basically that sort of first met area, okay? So where all the metatarsal heads are, just through that area there. Okay, so we're just in that area. We're neither lateral, we're neither medial, we are in the center. Now, how's that pressure there, Kath? That okay? So that's broad, it's getting them used to this pressure first. So I'd say this is a good way to start, okay? So once again, just nice and slow, you're not looking to work fast or rapidly through this area, just nice and slow, okay? And get your clients to just slowly flex their toes if you want, okay, like that. Now, if we're looking to isolate the trigger points, then we can come in this way, okay? So quadratus, quadratus plantae is in here, okay? So we're not looking at that muscle. We're coming a little bit further up from there and we're gonna be in the trigger points just through this. So notice, just as I get in that trigger, starting to get some guarding already, all right? So we need to back that off, okay? But we know where the area is. So we're just gonna work along here like so. Now that's a lot more comfortable, Kath. Mm -hmm. All the way up, okay? And along there. And as I said before, the trigger point referral for this muscle comes right across the top here, okay? So that's what we're looking for. Look, it varies from person to person. You, they, they may get referral into the big toe for some reason. They might get referral into the toes themselves. They might get it coming back down. It does vary. This is just a guide for us, okay? So just be aware that if you don't necessarily get the true trigger point referral, it's not like you're doing anything wrong. Just somatically, we're all different. 
So just working along there. Okay, as I said, this is not deep pressure, so this shouldn't be taxing on your thumbs at all. Okay, and I use a broad braced approach just to work through that tissue like so. Okay. Great for your runners, great for your jumping athletes, anyone who's involved in lower limb. Flexor, Digitorum, Brevis. So this is our broad approach here, okay? So we're just gonna come across fleshy part, okay? Not elbow. Stabilize at the back of the heel, okay? And you wanna be able to make sure that your clients can accept that pressure. So we're almost supinating out of it. It's like pushing toothpaste out of a toothpaste tube. Okay, it's a really broad approach. Okay, we're centering on working through that area there. And we come down to locate the trigger points. Quadratus plantae is in there. We're above that, so we're gonna be in this area here, okay? There's the trigger points there. So we're looking at just working along there, okay? So once again, if you go too deep, your clients will guard against you like so, okay? So that's not what you want. Flexi Digitorum Brevis.